My wife is addicted to the gym and it's ruining our marriage. My wife is 30 years old and she's always worked out and been in shape, but lately I feel like it's becoming excessive. She used to regularly work out at a gym when she was in college. At some point she stopped going to the gym, I think lately just due to her schedule, and preferred to work out at home or go for runs outside. About 18 months ago she announced she was going to get back into the habit of going to the gym. She now had a job where she's able to make more time for it. It started off normal, but slowly became more and more frequent. She signed up for classes on the weekend, both days, she started going to the gym every day, then it became the morning before work and then again later in the evening. Every single day, if she's stressed, she goes to the gym, experience some sort of life crisis. She immediately heads to the gym. We have an argument, runs to the gym. She's four months pregnant right now. I'm kind of surprised we even had time to make a kid. I understand that it's safe for her to work out, especially since she was already in the habit of doing it before she got pregnant, but the intensity is not slowing down. If she misses one of her normal gym sessions she becomes so irritable, like a junkie not getting her fix. It's just bizarre. Truly a case of too much of a good thing. Of course she gets upset when I voice that I feel it's becoming an unhealthy obsession and that I miss spending time with her because she's there so much. She has all of these friends and this whole circle of people there that she seems to prefer spending time with over me. Why don't we work out together at the gym? The gym is her time, she says. This isn't a case of me feeling insecure because she's in great physical shape and I'm a fat slob. I work out and am in shape. My job really requires me to stay in shape so I can't let myself go if I want to. I genuinely feel her gym habits are unhealthy. She's over-exercising, for one. There is such a thing. But worse than that, I feel it's becoming a way for her to escape everything else in her life. She never actually fixed anything that goes wrong in her life. She just runs off to the gym to get some sort of mood boost and then that's it. She also never gets anything else done in a practical sense because how can she when she's at the gym so often? It's to the point where I have to do every chore and if food is getting made I'm going to have to do it. I don't expect her to do all of those things, but it should at least be a shared effort. People we know have even commented about it to me. They've said things about how she seems different, how she sure is at the gym a lot, and many of her friends and family barely see her anymore. Some have even suggested she's having an affair with somebody there. Please tell me that this doesn't sound normal to you. She insists this is perfectly normal. Update February 11th, 2024 I posted not very long ago about my wife's addiction to the gym. A compulsion, if you will. She spends most of her free time there. She often goes twice a day, and sometimes even three times if we have a fight at night and she needs to run off instead of actually talking to me. She won't let me go to her gym and she refuses to go to mine. Her gym is her place, my gym is my place, and that's just the way it has to be according to her. I'd love to have her come along with me. I've invited her multiple times. She's about 18 weeks pregnant right now. This is our first baby. She worked out like crazy prior to the pregnancy and she continues to just as hard now. I truly didn't think she was cheating on me. People suggested it in the last thread and I laughed. You can tell she's at the gym a lot, she's in great shape. So she's obviously going there. I felt really confident about the cheating issue and when I posted 9 days ago I wasn't even considering cheating. I'm embarrassed to admit that after reading a lot of the comments on my last post, I thought maybe I was being overly confident about her fidelity. She usually always has her phone on her, but she left it in the kitchen counter and as stupid as I felt, I decided to do a quick swipe through her texts. She had a current text conversation going on with a guy. I recognize the name. The same name of a guy from the gym she mentions a lot. She's friends with a lot of people there, went to one of their weddings last fall. I wasn't too terribly concerned until I started reading the texts. Never wanted to know what the guy's wick looked like, but I know now. She was only out of the room for literally about a minute or two, so I had to scroll fast. I was furious. I asked her what the duck that conversation was about. She started yelling at me for looking at her phone. I told her she's acting so weird and the gym obsession was really bothering me so I just decided to look, and was ashamed that I did, but that's I thought I'd find nothing all. She said it's nothing. It's nothing. Didn't look like nothing to me. She sure seemed pretty interested in this nothing. I wanted to know if she's been ducking him. For how long? She kept saying no. I left the house because I was so furious, but not before I slammed her phone on the ground and shattered it. She was calling me all sorts of names for breaking her phone. She hit me on the back as hard as she could. I left. Went to my brother's house. My brother and sister-in-law were shocked. Although my sister-in-law was one of the most vocal ones about my wife's gym obsession being weird and bringing it up to me constantly. I went home. She was in bed crying. She obviously couldn't call me or anyone else for that matter. She was laying it on thick. I don't know if you'd ever come home. Give me a break. I took her phone to get repaired tonight. She doesn't deserve it but I still feel like an ass breaking her phone. I still don't know how deep it goes. She won't admit to anything beyond what I saw. Bad enough, or more. I'm convinced it was a lot more, but she refuses to hand over her phone and is now trying to act like I'm this terrible monster who is abusing her because I broke her phone. Not my proudest moment, but I honestly wanted to body slam her after she punched me. I have never and would never actually touch her like that. Update 2. My wife admitted to an affair February 12, 2024 not sure if posting something in my profile will be seen by anyone, but I don't feel like making another update in a subreddit. 
Today my wife asked me to stay home from work so we could talk. She laid in bed all day yesterday trying to get me to feel sorry for her, but I paid absolutely no attention to her and ended up leaving the house to go to my family's Super Bowl party. I wasn't in the mood to go but I wasn't going to sit at home with her. It really bothered her that I left. She kept texting me things like who just leaves like that. When something like this is happening, who is that cold and callous that they just leave to go to a party? I stayed home today to talk to her. She was full of tears, she's so sorry. According to her, she really was going to the gym twice a day because she likes going there, that's where her friends are, makes her feel good, it's fun for her. She met this guy there and he started flirting with her. Everyone likes him. He's one of the most popular guys there. I didn't realize there were popular people at gyms. She admitted that she flirted back but didn't mean anything by it. She didn't reciprocate very much at first, but he gave her butterflies and she just found herself flirting back without thinking. She said it felt like when she had a crush on somebody when she was in school when she was younger. They started texting. At first it was just friendly and nothing sexual for several months, but she'd feel giddy every time she got a message from him. She was really attracted to him, but told him that she was married and there could never actually be anything between them. According to her, he kept flirting with her anyway and said sure, we won't cross the line, until they did cross the line. She said she had tried to resist it for a while, but then one day they kissed. She admitted to enjoying it but also feeling that it was wrong. She must not have felt that bad because she slept with him for the first time later that night. She described it like falling in love with somebody for the first time. All she could think about what him. Is she in love with him? She doesn't know. Is this baby mine? She thinks so but there's always a small chance it could be his. He always uses a condom so she doesn't think it's his baby but they were sleeping together at the time she got pregnant. She loves me. She can't help that there's just this huge spark between the two of them. She doesn't know if she loves him. She doesn't know if the baby is mine. She doesn't know why she did this. She doesn't know what she thinks we should do. The nail in the coffin is when she said you would really leave me if it's not your baby would you? She had the balls to ask me that. I told her of course I'm leaving her and I wouldn't raise another man's child. She seemed shocked. She said really, with everything we have and all our history, you wouldn't even consider it. She can't be serious. I told her no I would never consider it. She agreed to get a DNA test. She tearfully agreed, like I'm supposed to feel sorry for her about it. I don't know who this woman is. She was crying the whole time, but not tears of an ashamed or sorry person. They were tears for herself and meant to try to make me feel bad. Feel bad for what? That her heart is apparently so torn.